गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट गुड आफ्टरनून सर आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेल एंड आल्सो स्टडीइंग ओके एंड आल्सो कंप्लीटिंग द असाइनमेंट दैट आई एम गिविंग टू यू ओके सो टुडे आई विल गिव यू द वन ईमेल आईडी ऑन दैट ईमेल आईडी ऑल ऑफ यू हैव टू सेंड योर ऑल द थ्री असाइनमेंट्स ओके because on the whatsapp it become uh, difficult for me to collect that assignment okay <clears throat> now let's uh, start with the next topic okay that we are discussing in the unit 4 as all of you know in the unit 4 we are discussing the uh, another part of our subject that is the engineering economics and in that we are discussing the topic that is the engineering economic decisions okay and today we'll discuss about the what exactly the definition of it and uh, some examples related with the uh, role of the engineers uh, in the making the decisions now uh, in the previous lecture and in the starting lecture also we have discussed what exactly is the uh, economics is then what is the business economics etc etc so in the previous lecture only we have discussed the business economics is nothing but the when doing the different activities of the business when there is a utilization of uh, when there is a help of the economics is being taken then we are referring it as a business economics and also uh, up from the discussion that up till we have done uh, in your mind you might be thinking that uh, making the economic decision it is just the work of the economist or the top management of certain company or the business but it is not like that and uh, as a any young young engineer or the junior engineer who is working in that particular company or senior engineer or all the kind of engineers who are working in certain company and each and every one has its responsibility okay each and each and every one has its responsibility and each and every one has to play their role Uh, to make the different kind of economic decisions within a company or the business so you have to keep in mind one thing that uh, as a young engineer uh, you should not think like that making the economic related decision it is just the right or the work of the economist or the top management of the company but yes it is it is like that but all the other engineers junior engineers senior engineers or the engineers who are being uh, 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 inducted for different work they everyone has to play their part in making such kind of decisions now one thing that already we have discussed there is there is a special economist used to be there in the businesses and the company who make the economic related decisions as well as the top management also make the economic related decisions but plus to this every engineer might be a senior junior engineer they every engineer who are working in that company or the business he has also make the he has also make the economic related decisions okay related with their business related with the certain product of their business okay and if i ask you what kind of decisions that may be related with the economics has to be made by the engineers within that particular business or the company now that decisions can be related with the manufacturing related decisions decision can be related with the marketing related decisions and decision can be related with the finance also so each and every employee of that company are involved in making the economic decisions that is the point i want to tell not just the economist or not just the top management but each and every employee who is involved in certain activity of that company that each and every employees responsibility is there or each and every uh, employees having their role in making such kind of different economic decisions 
now decisions can be uh, related with these different kind of things manufacturing marketing financing etc etc so in in the in, in all these department the engineers has to make the decision and if i ask you what what is the aim or what is the goal of making different decisions then what will be your answer what i am asking you what is the objective of making different kind of economic decisions or what is the goal of making the different kind of economic decisions by different uh, employees of the company by economist of that company top management of the company senior manager junior manager all these people make different kind of economic decision now everyone is having the primary objective in their mind what can be that primary objective related with the making the decisions yes what can be the objective behind making different kind of decisions yes all of you got the question what can be the primary objective of making the different kind of economic decisions primary objective or aim or goal whatever you can uh, think about that yes what can be the primary objective or goal behind making different kind of economic decisions within a business yes what can be the objective sir economic decision related upon money management cha pan ekada decision ghena magcha objective kay asu shakto company madhe kiwa business madhe it is beneficial asa aplya cha sathi ki to because of that decisions we should get the more profit we should get the more benefit understood the company's yes, profit should in, increase so that are being considered as a primary objective behind each and every kind of decisions and as i told you each and every employee of that particular business is uh, involved in the making this kind of economic decision not just the economist or the top management but everybody is responsible and everybody is uh, play their role in making different kind of economic decision related with the marketing uh, manufacturing financing various activities that happens in that particular business and from that uh, the definition of the engineering economic decision has been made here this is the definition of engineering economic decisions now from whatever discussion we have done from that you can easily understand this definition you can see various economic decision taken by the engineers related with the engineering projects are called as a engineering economic decisions very simple definition is there okay from the discussion that we have done what whatever the dis, uh, economic decision taken by whom engineers now engineers might be working at the marketing department engineers might be working at the manufacturing department in case of our field engineers might be working at the coding department at the testing department understood at the analysis department okay at all these post engineers are working okay in the different uh, branch of the engineering mechanical electrical computer etc etc so at that particular uh, uh, in that particular field when the engineers make some decision related with the economics then that uh, that particular decisions are called as what the engineering economic decisions understood so engineer has to make the decision related with what whatever the projects they are doing now related with the engineering projects what can be the economic decision can you tell me some example related with the engineering projects what can be the economic decisions project cost ठीक if you select this xyz project then what how much cost will require to build that project then what can be the other fact uh, other th uh, things which will comes under the economic decision related to some any engineering projects or you can take the example of our field only yes stages
प्रोजेक्ट वेळेत कंप्लीट झाला पाहिजे वेदर आवर प्रोजेक्ट विल बी गेट कंप्लीट इन द स्टिप्युलेटेड टाइम नाउ वेदर इफ द प्रोजेक्ट विल नॉट गेट कंप्लीट इन द टाइम विल इट अफेक्ट ऑन द विल इट अफेक्ट ऑन द प्रॉफिट ऑफ द कंपनी और नॉट यस सर yes it will definitely affect if it affect on the profit now in the positive manner or the negative manner that is going to affect on the economy of your company yes or no yes yes and that is the from that all this discussion you can see here this is the definition of engineering economic decisions all of you got this definition yes sir various economic decision taken by the engineers related with the whatever engineering projects they are doing that is called as the engineering economy decisions ata te decisions kay astat te aplyala podo bagaycha okay that we will going to see in the details but here you should understand the definition okay let's see the next part so every engineer uh, okay who are working in that particular business and who are working in some engineering projects their uh, what you can say their role start from the designing part okay then uh, actual production of that particular product now in case of our field you know the role of engineer is what from the analysis then the uh, then designing part then implementation coding then testing etc etc so these are all the roles being performed by the engineers okay and finally shipping the particular product shipping in the delivery of that product and after giving it to the customer providing the after sale service to that particular customer these are all the roles being played by the engineers commonly in the different field of the engineering okay as different field of the engineering all of you must be aware all these uh, mechanical electrical uh, entc it computer all these kind of uh, engineering businesses okay and uh, so while the engineer playing their role in this uh, way in these uh, different kind of activities okay now during this uh, uh, during this playing role also now what engineer must also consider engineer also has to utilize the or engineer has to do the effective utilization of the fixed asset of that particular business or they have to utilize effectively fixed asset of that particular company now what do you mean by the fixed asset now this is the word we are going to require in the further part of this subject now what do you mean by the fixed asset asset means what yes asset means what hmm what is the meaning of asset yes please uh, jaga मालमत्ता मालमत्ता मग आता जसं आपल्या आपल्या घर आपल्या आपल्या घरच्या घराची काय असेट असते आपल्या घरा आपले अवर होम देअर अवर प्लेस ओके अवर कार बाईक दिस आर अवर फिक्स असेट्स अंडरस्टूड ना सिमिलरली बिझनेसेस आर हॅव्हिंग देअर असेट लाईक देअर बिझनेस देअर बिल्डिंग ओके देअर प्लॅन्ट अँड द मशिनरी विच आर युटिलाइज इन दॅट पर्टिक्युलर प्लॅन्ट सो इंजिनियर ऑल्सो हॅज टू मेक द इफेक्टिव्ह युटिलायझेशन ऑफ दॅट पर्टिक्युलर फिक्स असेट इफेक्टिव्ह इन द सेन्स they should they should create or they should generate the maximum product from that particular using that asset okay whatever it may be the machinery building etc etc so these things also has to be done by the engineers okay and as a part of the long term planning process as already we have discussed in the third unit only two kinds of planning is always been done long term planning and the short term planning okay so when do when doing the long term planning they also need to take the some decision okay on the various project of the company and when they are taking the decision related with the long term planning they also have to think about what kind of different resources they will required and accordingly they need to allocate or allot this different kind of resources for their different projects okay in case of uh, if some projects is going to be required 2 years or the 3 years now for such kind of project long term planning need to be done and in this long term planning also the engineer has, has also uh, has also need to play their uh, role okay and in that play in that in that case he has to play their role uh, related with the what kind of resources uh, will require to complete that particular project understood and how to allocate that resources in the effective way 
so that all the resources will get utilized effectively okay no resource will remain idle okay so these all the decisions that has to be taken by the engineers during the particular uh, when the certain engineering projects is uh, getting completed by that particular business or the company and uh, also uh, whenever some new machinery has to be purchased okay now you can see in the different businesses there used to be the different machineries now each particular machinery is having their lifetime their life span yes or no or is it like that ki apan ek machinery getli ani ti 50 varsha 40 varsha ti machinery chalu shakte asa asta ka no sir no ki ta every machine is having certain life span okay every every machine uh, is having their particular uh, working capacity and after certain period of time it is required that that machine should be get replaced with some new machine yes or no this kind of things is requiring in the business what do you think yes or no yes sir yes okay now consider you are doing some business consider you are doing some business suppose you are doing the business of making the paper plates i hope all of you must be knowing about the paper plate yes sir lagna madhe vagare te paper plate use kartat baka okay so suppose you are doing the business of making the paper plate now you know to make the paper plate there is a utilization of the uh, machineries okay so suppose you are doing the business from last 5 years and now you think that that current machine you are working with it is not giving you the that much amount of performance now how will how, how will how, how you will judge the performance of that machine who is producing the paper plate can you tell me how will you judge the performance of that machine so production kami zalyavarti sir tar ata suppose tumhi navin te machine anla asal 5 varsha puru tya vesthe ki tumhi jar tya machine if if you are using that machine and producing the uh, 500 paper plates per day or don't consider per day just consider about the for however you are you are you are uh, producing 50 plates or 100 plates now after some time you you experience that for however that particular machine is can machine is able to generate or produce only the 10 plates or the 20 plates means what uh, because of the time period that machine performance has degraded has decreased yes or no yes sir every machinery performance get degraded by the a uh, time period just if the time passes then every machinery's performance get degraded the same thing is apply for the human being also as a human being become old his working capacity also become less okay that machinery is for the machinery is also this fund this formula is applicable now as you think that after five, you have purchased that machine before the five years now it is not giving that much amount of performance now what decision you will take consider you are the you are working as a engineer in that particular company who is producing the paper plates now what decision you will take replace now your foremost decision will be nothing but what you will you will think about replacing that machine yes or no yes, yes sir. sir now when you are thinking about the replacing of that machine what what factors will come in your mind machine cost machine cost then apan je new machine getto tyache production kiti as compared to our yes manje tumhi je new machine ganar ahe tyacha tyachi production capacity kiti ahe kite new machine tumhi purchase kela nantar tumhala profit kiti hoil understood mag tumhi tya machine che if you purchase the new machine in how many years that machine initial cost will be get after how many years you will receive the initial cost of that machine means the break even what do you mean by the break even point related with that machine suppose you purchase the machine for 50000 how much 50000 ata he 50000 vasul hone sathi tumhala kiti vel lage कि पन्ना हजार वसूल प्रॉफिट चालू हुई आर यू गेटिंग यस सर सो व्हेन यू व्हेन यू अर्न फिफ्टी थाउजंड फ्रॉम दैट मशीन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट व्हाट द पॉइंट 
गेटिंग कि तुम्ही जी इनिशियल इन्व्हेस्टमेंट केलेली आहे त्या मशीन साठी ते पन्नास हजार ज्या वेळेस तुमचे वसूल होतील त्यावेळेस त्या कन्सेप्ट ला पण काय म्हणतो ब्रेकिंग होता सो दिस ऑल द थिंग्स यू हॅव टू कन्सिडर वेन यू थिंक अबाउट रिप्लेसिंग युअर एक्झिस्टिंग मशीन विथ सम न्यू मशीन गेटिंग ऑल्सो यू हॅव टू थिंक हाऊ मच इन हॉव टू परचेज दॅट मशीन वेदर यू वेदर यू हॅव दॅट अमाऊंट ऑफ कॅश फ्लो की तुमच्याकडे तेवढे पैसे आहेत का तुमच्या कंपनी वेदर युअर कंपनी इज हॅव दॅट अमाऊंट ऑफ मनी टू परचेज दॅट न्यू फिक्स असेट अंडरस्टूड सो ऑल दिस थिंग्स हॅज टू बी कन्सिडर वेन यू आर थिंकिंग अबाउट द परचेसिंग द न्यू मशीन ओके बट यु नो वाय इट इज बिंग रिलेटेड विथ द बिझनेस वन वन फेमस वर्ड इज अटॅच रिलेटेड विथ द बिझनेस दॅट इज द रिस्क वाय इट इज सो Yes. Can anybody tell me why the word risk is attached with business? Sir, I have to tell you about paper teacher. We are doing business, but we are doing a lot of work. Exactly, yes. Because we are doing a lot of work. 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 Because we are doing a lot of work. We are doing a lot of work. याच्याबद्दल तुम्ही फक्त प्रिडिक्शन करू शकता काय प्रिडिक्शन करू शकता की पुढच्या एका वर्षामध्ये आपले आपली जी इनिशियल इन्व्हेस्टमेंट आहे ती काय वसूल होईल अंडरस्टूड पण तुमचं प्रिडिक्शन ऑलवेज ट्रू होईल असं तुम्ही सांगू शकता का नो नो अंडरस्टूड आता सपोज तुम्ही असा विचार करा की तुम्ही ऍज अ युअर ओनर ऑफ युअर बिझनेस आणि तुम्ही लॉकडाऊनच्या अगोदर म्हणजे कोरोना पिरियड यायच्या अगोदर जर तुम्ही एखादी नवीन मशीन परचेस केली असेल हे तुम हे तुमच्या प्रिडिक्शन मध्ये होत का की नो सर आपण परचेस केल्यानंतर कोरोना नाउ बिकॉज ऑफ दॅट यु नो द नंबर ऑफ बिझनेसेस हॅज लॉस नंबर ऑफ बिझनेसेस हॅज लॉस देयर कॅपिटल लॉस देयर मनी बिकॉज इन ईच बिझनेस देयर इज अ रिस्क इज ऑलवेज देयर नाउ रिस्क इज रिलेटेड विथ द डिफरेंट थिंग्स व्हॉट रिस्क इज रिलेटेड विथ द कस्टमर प्रेफरेंसेस रिस्क इज रिलेटेड विथ द ऍक्शन ऑफ द कंप्युटर risk is related with the technological development risk is related with the change in the natural and the political environments ata current je current jo scenario ahe to kutla risk madhe to corona cha environmental manje environmental change in the natural or the environmental condition understood now you can see the number of business are stopped till number of business are not in the working condition so different kind of risk is attached with the each particular kind of businesses understood and when you are taking the decision you have to take the thoughtful and the correct investment decision so that your risk will get minimized complete risk reduce ho sakta kya business madhe no sir no risk is always risk will always be there but as a engineer as a other kind of people of that company economist of the top company they have to consider that risk understood and by considering that risk they have to do the estimation of the future benefits so in the businesses only the prediction can always uh, only the prediction is uh, can work okay and that prediction can be negative or the it can be a positive or means your prediction might be right or it might be a wrong so risk is always related with also the customer preferences also means what sir manje ata apan ek ata he paper paper plates cha apan example given chalo hmm sir manje ata jas sangitle ata aple production chi quality peksha jar suppose dusra company tinchi quality customer la avadli tar mate aple tinchi customer aple aple product ghenar nahi barobar yes then yes, आता आपण पेपर प्लेट्स मोस्टली कधी विकल्या जातात आपल्या लग्नाचा जो पिरियड असतो याच्यामध्ये बरोबर नाव यू कॅन सी नाव देर इज अ नो मॅरेज आर हॅपनिंग नो वॉट वी कॉल्ड इट ॲज वेअर वी कंडक्ट द मॅरेजेस लॉन्स नो लॉन्स आर इन द वर्किंग कंडिशन नो मॅरेजेस आर हॅपनिंग सो देर इज अ नो Uh, lunch arrangement for the okay the, your um, guest and other people so so the, so there is a no no selling of this kind of paper plates so if the customers is not there then you can see there is a there is a kind of risk related with your business understood 
एक्शन ऑफ द कॉम्प्युटर्स कि तुम्ही पेपर फक्त तुम्हीच पेपर प्रेट प्रोड्यूस करताय असं होऊ शकेल का एखादा बिझनेस नाही हे फक्त सुरुवातीला होऊ शकतं परंतु ज्यावेळेस एखादा बिझनेस सेट होतो आणि दुसरे लोक बघतात की अरे हा बिझनेस खूप चांगला चाललाय सो अदर पीपल्स ऑल्सो मेक देअर एंट्री इन दॅट बिझनेस सो यू आर टू ऑल्सो फेस द ऍक्शन ऑफ द कॉम्प्युटर्स ऑल्सो जर तुम्ही ती पेपर प्लेट दहा रुपयामध्ये विकत असाल सो देअर कॅन बी अनदर कॉम्प्युटर हू विल ट्राय टू सेल दॅट पेपर प्लेट विथ द एट रुपीज इट कॅन हॅपन ऑर नॉट Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. these kind of all the risk are available in the businesses, and that is the reason I am saying the engineers has to think about all these things, and he has to make the thoughtful and the correct kind of investment decisions. Okay. Now, if the decision goes inaccurate, now tell me what will be the effect of that? If the decision no, will go sir. inaccurate. डेफिनेटली तुम्ही जे पैसे इन्व्हेस्ट केले आहेत ते त्याचा तुम्हाला यू विल हॅव टू फेस द लॉस दॅट विल अफेक्ट ऑन द कॅश फ्लो ऑफ युअर कंपनी अंडरस्टूड अँड दॅट विल दॅट विल डॅमेज द युअर बिझनेस ऑल्सो नंबर ऑफ एक्झाम्पल्स आर देअर बिकॉज ऑफ सच काइंड ऑफ सिच्युएशन बिकॉज ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ बिकॉज नाव इन द इन द रिसेंट पिरियड ऑल्सो यू कॅन इफ यू सर्च अबाउट द डिफरंट काइंड ऑफ बिझनेसेस दॅट इज गेट डॅमेज बिकॉज ऑफ द करोना पॅन्डेमिक you will understand that what i am trying to say so if there is a no customer and then how you will sell your product because people have already produced the product before the corona period but because of the corona pandemic nobody is nobody is want to buy the products and etc all these kind of things and so how you will sell your products if your product will not get sell definitely your company will not earn the money and you have to face the losses and that will affect on the financial health of your company understood so related with the purchasing of the machinery the engineers has to take the careful decision understood mag ata ya sagla risk ahe manun machineries replace karaychi nahi ase decision geun chalel ka sanga mala no sir asa karun bhi chalnar nahi you are getting my point manje kay ki investment na karun sudha chalnar nahi if you don't purchase the new machine mag tumche competitor je ahe te tumche pude nikun jatin You are getting my point. Yes, sir. तुम्ही जर जुन्या मशीन ने प्रोडक्ट प्रोड्यूस केले तर तुम्हाला ज्या विल यू एबल टू प्रोड्यूस द प्रोडक्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू द डिमांड ऑफ द मार्केट नो बिकॉज युअर एक्झिस्टिंग मशीन इज नॉट परफॉर्मिंग वेल दॅट्स वाय यू हॅव टू रिप्लेस दॅट मशीन विथ द न्यू मशीन सो वाईल पर्चेसिंग द न्यू मशीन देर आर द लॉट ऑफ रिस्क इज देअर बट यू हॅव टू बट यू हॅव टू you have to think about that risk also you have to think about that what benefit you will get and accordingly you have to take the decision the same point i have made here on the other hand spending too little on the fixed asset like the machinery spending too little manje kay ki ti machinery replace na karta tumhi junis machine use karta hai understood that is the meaning of spending too little on the fixed asset like the machinery could also prove harmful for the firm existing machinery and may become too absolute Absolute in the sense ki machine tumchi ji juni machine ji aahe ki working condition madhe aahe but but the technology which is available in the new machine is more advantages than your existing machine means what your existing machine has become obsolete in the sense it has become outdated you are getting my point meaning of the obsolete means what outdated and as it is become uh, outdated it is not giving you the, that much amount of performance as compared with the new machine so on the other hand spending too little on the fixed asset like the machinery could also prove the harmful for the firm existing machinery may become too obsolete to produce the product comp uh, competitively and without the adequate capacity of the firm may lose its market share to its company may lose its market share to its competitor jar tumhi juniyach machinery ne tumche product produce karat gela तर तुम्ही तुमच्या कस्टमरला सॅटिस्फाय करू शकता का सांगा मला नो नो इफ यू डोंट एबल टू सॅटिस्फाय युअर डिमांड ऑफ द कस्टमर विल कस्टमर गो अवे फ्रॉम यू और विल कम क्लोज टू यू कस्टमर विल डेफिनेटली गो अवे फ्रॉम युअर बिझनेस येस ऑर नो अँड सो दॅट इज द रिझन आय एम हिअर सेईंग in the invest also in the investment in the new machinery may improve the productivity of the firm but if you purchase the new machinery it will definitely going to improve the performance of your company it will definitely going to improve the 
productivity of your firm or the company and uh, because of that you may take the decision to reduce the cost of because of that the cost of your production may also get reduced and because of that if the cost of the production will get reduced will you offer the lower price to your customer also yes or no the production cost kami jali kashyamule tumhi navin machinery purchase kele tar tumhi tumcha customer la thodi price kami karun deu shakta product chi yes sir त्याच्यामुळे तुमचं कस्टमर वाढू शकतात युअर कस्टमर बेस कॅन बी इन्क्रीज अँड इफ द कस्टमर बेस कॅन बी गेट इन्क्रीज डेफिनेटली युअर प्रॉफिट ऑफ द कंपनी विल ऑल्सो गेट इन्क्रीज अंडरस्टूड सो दीज आर द डिफरंट व्हॉट यू कॅन से बेनिफिशियल थिंग्स ऍज वेल ऍज सम रिस्क असोसिएटेड विथ द परचेसिंग ऑफ द न्यू मशिनरी और युटिलायझिंग द एक्झिस्टिंग मशिनरी अंडरस्टूड सो हिअर आय मेन्शन इफ द फर्म ऑर द बिझनेस डिले इट्स डिसिजन so if you if you delay your decision to replace your machinery you may lose your customer ani ekda jar tumcha customer loss jala tar te customer parat milavna he kiti avgad hai he tumhala atta cha example varun kalu shakta now you might be uh, experiencing uh, the competition between this telecommunication company if you you might be experience the communication between the idea company and uh, if you consider the situation of the idea company before the 5 years and the situation of the idea company nowadays can you tell me what is the difference sir 5 years ago their idea the network strong idea hota, top madhe hote demand jasta yeah. top madhe barobar na customer base yeah. tancha hai hota but as yeah. you can see the reliance has made its entry to the jio jio product you can see the situation of the idea is very worse understood jar tumhi market madhe baghitla tar idea cha share ata 10 rupaye kiwa 5 rupaye madhe chalu you are getting my point आणि रिलायन्स चा जो शेअर आहे त्याची किंमत दोन हजार अडीच हजाराच्या वरती आहे अंडरस्टूड सो व्हॉट वाय दिस हॅज हॅपन बिकॉज ऑफ दॅट वाय बिकॉज ऑफ द रिलायन्स जिओ हॅज मेड द एंट्री नंबर ऑफ कस्टमर गेट अट्रॅक्टेड टू देम अँड नंबर ऑफ कस्टमर कस्टमर विल गॉट अवे फ्रॉम द आयडिया अंडरस्टूड अँड आता तुम्ही आयडियाची नवीन नवीन ते प्रोडक्ट लॉन्च करतात बघा काहीतरी आता ते व्ही म्हणून त्यांचं चालू आहे ऍडव्हर्टाइजमेंट बघत असताल तुम्ही yes sir ha that the collaboration hai tancha mala vatto kona sir what of one and idea idea tar he kay tan chi tanna kay karava lagta ki navin navin tanna kay tri innovative idea market madhe ghevun te yet ahet karan kay ka tanna kay customer attract karayche but once you lose the customer it is very difficult to regain your lost customer you have to do the heavy marketing ani marketing karaycha asal tar you have to pay the price for that understood you have to reduce the price of your you have to reduce the price of your products also ata tumhi bagat asal ki idea che plan sudha khup kami kimti madhe yete chalu hai tv var jar tumhi advertisement bagat asta tar te they are trying to reduce their plans of the service which is more more uh, what you can say uh, with the lower price than the reliance jio also understood so that is the thing means what the conclusion of all this discussion what we can make you have to change according to the time and this change according to the time the decision has to be taken by the engineers who are working in that particular businesses related with the any kind of things okay so here i have mentioned the same kind of point that we are discussing the development of any product depends on the ability of an engineer or the technocrat technocrat is the another word for the engineers for your kind information technocrat is the another word for the engineers so development of any product depends on the ability of engineer or the technocrat to translate his idea into the innovative product so that is the another important role of the engineers ata je je navin navin products markets madhe etat baka kutlai company che asti manje kutlai the products might be related to the different field of the engineering the products might be related to the mechanical electrical electronics civil or products might be related with the telecommunication or products might be related to the software company now all these products how these products come into the market who is behind all these products the main person behind all these products is nothing but the engineers so whatever the idea comes into the mind of the engineer when that idea get converted into the practical way when that idea get converted into the practical way result of that is nothing but some innovative product yes or no तुमच्याकडे आयडियाच असं फक्त आयडिया असून चालेल का नो यू हॅव टू यू यू मस्ट हॅव द ऍबिलिटी द इंजिनियर मस्ट हॅव द ऍबिलिटी कन्व्हर्ट दॅट आयडिया इन टू द इनोव्हेटिव्ह 
products means that idea has to be get implemented in the practical way so for any business or for any company if they want to grow in the market they need to take the innovative decisions they need to launch the innovative products in the market and for launching this kind of innovative products in the market who is playing the main role engineers all of you must be agree yes or no yes sir yes sir so innovation is the main thing related with the any businesses now what is your idea about the innovation what do you think about the innovation can you tell me manje sir new kai tayar karna create to create something new create. so that yes, the sir. customer or the market will attract towards your products that is nothing but to what you call what you can call as a innovation आणि जर बिझनेसेस जर इनोव्हेशन करणार नसतील नवीन प्रोडक्ट जर मार्केटमध्ये येणार नसतील तर त्या बिझनेस त्या बिझनेसेस कडे लोक पब्लिक अट्रॅक्ट होईल का सांगा मला ओके सो व्हॉट एअर आय एम ट्राईंग टू टेल यू इफ एनी बिझनेसेस डोंट डोंट डू एनी काइंड ऑफ इनोव्हेशन देन माय क्वेश्चन इज व्हॉट वेदर द कस्टमर विल गेट अट्रॅक्ट टुवर्ड्स दॅट कंपनी no no definitely customer will not attract if the customer will not get attract will that company survive in the market no no so for the development of any business or development of any product the role of engineer is very important and that role is not just related with the decision related with the replacing of the machine and etc etc that decisions are very much important related with the how that engineers can convert their ideas into the innovative products so here i have mentioned the innovation is nothing but the use of the knowledge to produce the products and the services with the commercial angle manje kay ki that the product that that new idea that particular engineer is converting into the innovative product so it should have some commercial angle commercial angle in in the sense what because of your new innovative product the company should get more profit and when the company can get more profit only when number of customer will get attract to your towards your product and when the customer will get attract towards your product when the customer see their benefits in your products only understood so development of any firm depends on its ability to constantly launch innovative products and the services manje asa nahi hai ki ata thik hai ek varsha tumhi kai tari innovative product launch kela ata thik hai apan 5 varsha aaram karu asa chalel ka no no companies or the businesses need to do this need to launch this innovative product constantly understood they need to launch these services constantly through their they need to launch their innovative products constantly understood and if certain business will not able to do this then what can happen can you tell me yes if certain businesses not not able to launch the innovative products and the services in the market what will be the result of that center they down will customer tancha kade janar customer tancha kade janar nahi product kon purchase karnar nahi karan tumhi karat nasal tar tumche competitor thodes basun ranar hai they will try to do their best can you tell me the example related with this kind of point गुगल वर जर गुगल बदल लोक सर्च करता फाइप के वाय नोकिया फेल ना यू लेट मी शो यू how the dow how the market of the nokia has gone so much below let me show you the example here can you able to see the change in the screen yes sir if you just type on the here why nokia you can see why nokia if you after the nokia what keywords you are being suggested by the google fail why fail. nokia fail means 
you can see the people are now just searching about the nokia why why that particular brand has failed you are getting my point why it has been failed because nokia could not able to run with the customer demand nokia could not able to run with the market expectation now you can see or you can search related with the nokia nokia has around nokia has around 50% market capture how much 50% now nokia is the company from the finland now if you consider the period of 2007 2007 8 if you uh, if you see this if you search about this period related with the situation of the nokia out of the if you consider the out of the 100 people 80 people were having the mobiles of the nokia how many 80 people out of 100 now there from this you can consider what was the situation of the nokia in the 2007 but if you if you search in the 2011 10 11 then you can see nokia has completely completely vanished in the market Nokia has completely lost his customer base in the market related with their mobiles understood and why this has happened because Nokia could not able to change according to the change in the technology means in the 2010 11 period there was a entry of the famous operating system related with the mobile which is that operating system yes which is the famous popular operating system make its entry in the period of 2010-11 yes which operating system your mobile is now having android huh? android android now you can see out of the suppose 25 students are in the lecture out of 25 i think 100% will having the android operating system in their mobile yes or no Yes. yes sir why this has happened because nokia were using which kind of operating system now tumhala mait pan nasel can you tell anybody me can you, can anybody tell me which operating system were there in the nokia symbian you can search about this symbian operating system were there and that time nokia didn't change according to the market and nokia didn't utilize the android operating system but the competitor of the nokia at that time was the samsung company and samsung company in that period chooses the android operating system and if you observe the market capture of the samsung from the 2010 11 to the 2016 samsung was having the highest market capture getting yes sir. why this yes, is so sir. what is the difference now difference is the simple nokia hardware was very popular and very strong also today also their hardware is very strong but they didn't make any changes in their software and yeah, as they didn't make any change in their software their user interface was not user friendly what do you mean by the user interface was not user friendly means what yes let me give you the simple example what do you mean by the user interface was not user friendly now all of you have utilized the windows operating system yes sir and all of you have utilized the ubuntu linux operating system also yes sir which is the most easy to utilize windows definitely windows, windows. understood so that kind of advantages we are having because of the android operating system in the samsung mobile but nokia didn't utilize that nokia didn't get change according to the expectation of the market and samsung has now nokia che sudha smartphone hote 2010 11 jo period hota tyacha madhe nokia che smartphone navte asa nahi nokia was also having their smartphone but the prices of that smartphone were high user that smartphone were were were, were not user friendly as compared with the smartphone of the samsung and the apple kind of mobile company and because of that the customer base of the nokia get completely destroyed and which were get captured by the samsung company 
that is the reason i am here saying the development of the any firm depends on its ability to constantly launch innovative products and the services so innovation could be the launching the new products or offering the existing products with the improved quality or at the reduced uh, cost of the production so this means that the firm has to keep reinventing themselves to stay in the competition and maintain the healthy growth rate so constantly the businesses has to do the invention innovation and they need to reinvent themselves now you can see after the samsung now what is the market capture of the samsung now who is the who is the more uh, having the market capture as as compared to the samsung nowadays realme realme there is a, the the uh, Red, redmi company uh, xiaomi uh, xiaomi 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 oppo now lot of competitors are now there now why the why the oppo has got the good market market capture because oppo is having their own speciality related with their selfie clarity etc etc yes or no yes sir so this is this is the thing that every businesses need to do the constantly they need to reinvent themselves they need to do the innovation and when they can do it when they their engineers will play their role in that particular businesses okay so here you can see now for all this role the engineer in the economic decision making uh, so now for all this the role of the engineer in the economic decision is the paramount paramount in the sense you know to do you know to make this all the kind of decision the role of the engineers is very important paramount so meaning kai role of the engineers is very important understood now we are going to see the simple case study related with this to better understand the role of engineers in the economic decision of the business or the firm we are just going to discuss about the success story of the major innovator of our times the success story of the honda company all of you must be knowing this company yes sir okay honda company which is now we, this is the best example of the businesses who are constantly reinventing themselves constantly launching the new products innovative products innovative things in the market now let's see you can see in the period 1946 this is the japanese company okay in the period 1946 there is a origin of the honda company and they started their company with some technical research institute okay they started their company as a some technical research institute and initially they started developing the engines for the bicycles baka kay honda company ni suruvat kutun keli they started the engineers for what bicycles in the cycle sati they started building the developing the engines then in the 1949 they introduced their first motorcycle in japan name of that first first motorcycle is what dream motorcycle now in the 1959 the the honda company enter in the EU, us market where they enter in the us market united state market america okay and they they make their entry with their motorcycle where in the european state or in the us market then in the 1963 they release their first sports car that is the s500 now you can see now they they launch their that uh, sports car in the japan and now you can see just from the 1946 from developing the engine for the bicycles the honda company make their journey up to the 1963 up to making the sports car this is nothing but the perfect example of innovation being done by the honda company you are getting my point yes and after launching their first sports car they become the largest manufacturer of the car in the world in the 1963 only then in the 1972 74 they introduced the honda civic car ata hi car aplya deshamadhe sudha baryach lokankade tumhi baghitle asel baka honda civic yes honda civic car cha naav aikle na tumhi
Yes, sir. Like this number of cars are there in the market related with the Honda. Okay, and they launched it in the US market also. And this car, Honda Civic car, were ranked first in the fuel efficiency. Fuel efficiency in the sense, within a less fuel, this car were able to run more number of distance, or it can able to cover the more distance within a less fuel. Okay. Then after this period in the 1980-90. they introduce they introduce the nvr friendly cars they introduce the nvr friendly cars and they also introduce the car which were using the solvent free paints solvent free paint in the sense ata jar tumhi bagitla most of the companies cars car la je painting karta tyacha madhe in that painting lot of the chemicals are used to be there yes or no yes sir because of that that because of that uh, chemical mix uh, paint it also affect on our nature also it affect on the environment also but in the 1980 90 period the honda company started utilizing the paint which were solvent free in the sense which were having the less chemicals okay and they also generated the cars in the 1980 period which were working on the solar and the electric city so they have started working on the electrical cars in the 90 period only you are getting my point and you can see in our country nowadays only the mahindra and mahindra have launched their electrical cars mahindra is our indian company okay so you can see their power of their innovation okay in the 19 period only they have launched the electrical cars then in the 1997 99 they launched the two door hybrid cars with the more fuel efficiency and with the support of the electric charging hybrid car in the sense the car which were which can be run using the fuel also and the car which can be run using the electricity also that is the meaning of the hybrid car getting yes sir so they had, they done it in the period of the 1997 99 only and in the 2000 and 2002 period they have got various different kinds of international level awards for their research and their, for their innovation and now you can see the journey of the honda still continue okay now from all this journey you can see it is very evident from above that the continuous innovation has enabled the honda to grow as one of the largest automobile manufacturer in the world and it has now become the global brand okay now honda company has also done the collaboration with the one of the company of india in the period of 2010 which is that company hero hero and from that you can see the number of bikes are there which is being referred as the hero honda yes hero honda tennis splendor gaadle ha baraj tancha gaade ala ki 2010 madhe tanni kay kele hota ki hero aapli ji hero motor corp ji company hai indian company tancha baro tanni collaboration karun te product launch kele hote okay bikes but after that ata mala vatte tancha collaboration nahi hai karan hero company cha separate bikes hai बरोबर ना यस सर हिरो कंपनी जस्ट सेपरेट बाय सो होंडा बिलीव इन द इन हाउस रिसर्च मींस इनिशियली दे डिडंट डू एनी काइंड ऑफ कोलैबोरेशन विद द अदर कंपनीज ओके कि त्यांनी स्वतः त्यांनी फक्त दे दे डिड द देयर रिसर्च ऑन देयर ओन कंपनी ओके बट आफ्टर इन द 2010 आल्सो दे डू दे डू द दे दे डिड द कोलैबोरेशन विद आवर कंपनी आल्सो हिरो कंपनी एंड दे हैव लॉन्च देयर नंबर ऑफ बाइक्स एज अ हिरो होंडा कंपनी ओके so this is nothing but the result of the innovation and this is nothing but what you can say uh, role of the engineers in the different businesses and how, what exactly is nothing but what do we mean by the engineering economic decisions understood so the different decision being taken by the engineers there is always there is a, what you can say there is always test of economy is there there is always test of the economics is there and that is the reason we have defined the engineering economic decision like this it is the decision taken by the engineers related with the engineering projects being referred as a engineering economic decision and after this we have discussed the most of the roles being performed by the engineers in different kind of innovations launching different kind of new projects etc etc understood this yes sir yes sir yes sir so next time we'll we'll Uh, act now still we will need the two three lectures to complete the engineering economic decision 
so next time we'll see actual what kind of decision being get taken what kind of decision the engineer has to taken has to take as a part of the engineering economic decision so there are the four to five important decisions are there which we will discuss in details so that's it for the today's lecture thank you all of you thank you sir